Once hailed as a groundbreaking marvel of engineering and design, this colossal domed arena was the pride of Houston. A stage where championship dreams, sold-out concerts, and unforgettable cultural moments came to life. Athletes, musicians, and entertainers from around the world performed here, while millions of fans poured through its gates, making it a global icon of ambition and innovation. But as decades passed, newer, more advanced venues emerged. Tenants left, and the dome's glow began to fade. Neglect took its toll, leaving the structure silent, its vast halls echoing only with memories of what once was. Now, momentum is building behind a bold vision, one that seeks not only to preserve this historic landmark, but to completely reinvent it for a new era. The plan aims to transform it into a year-round hub for culture, commerce, and community. Blending its legendary past with modern design, cutting-edge technology, and the needs of a 21st century city. If successful, it could become one of the most remarkable urban revitalizations in America's history. Today, let's delve into the $1 billion rebuild of Houston's Astrodome. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. The Houston Astrodome story is one of ambition, innovation, and cultural impact. Conceived in the early 1960s by visionary Roy Hofheinz, a former Houston mayor and Harris County judge, it was built to overcome Houston's heat and storms. Construction began in 1962, and in April 1965, it opened as the world's first fully enclosed, air-conditioned, multi-purpose stadium. In other words, the world's first dome stadium, and it was instantly crowned the eighth wonder of the world. Its 710-foot steel dome, 66,000-plus seating capacity, luxury suites, private bars, and dazzling astrolite scoreboard set new standards. AstroTurf, created after natural grass failed under its roof, transformed sports globally. For decades, it hosted iconic events, from Astros and Oilers games to the 1973 Battle of the Sexes, concerts by Elvis, Selena, and the Rolling Stones, and sheltering Hurricane Katrina evacuees. But by the late 1990s, newer stadiums lured away tenants, revenue fell, and its aging infrastructure couldn't meet modern safety and accessibility codes. Event bookings declined, and in 2009, rising maintenance costs forced closure. After the dome's closure, proposals to repurpose or demolish it sparked fierce debate. In 2013, voters rejected a $217 million bond measure that would have transformed the Astrodome into a convention and exhibition center. Four years later, the Texas Historical Commission granted it state antiquities landmark status, shielding it from demolition and shifting the focus toward preservation. This momentum led to the creation of the Astrodome Conservancy in 2016, a private nonprofit founded by civic leader Phoebe Tudor to champion the dome's reuse. The Conservancy commissioned feasibility studies, economic reports, and bold design concepts aimed at restoring its relevance. In 2023, the Conservancy hired Gensler, a globally renowned architectural firm, to create Vision Astrodome, a redevelopment plan to reimagine the dome as a year-round destination, blending its iconic past with modern cultural, commercial, and community uses. The Astrodome's long-awaited transformation envisions a climate-controlled, walkable city within a dome, set within the busy NRG park to complement surrounding venues and bring new life to the site. The reimagined interior will feature four distinct multi-story buildings beneath the steel roof, together offering nearly 450,000 square feet of adaptable space for dining, retail, entertainment, events, and more. Each building has its own purpose. One will form a bustling dining and retail quarter with restaurants, cafes, and boutique shops. Another will be a state-of-the-art events and exhibitions hall equipped with advanced staging, immersive LED displays, dynamic lighting, and flexible floor systems to host trade shows, product launches, and large-scale conferences. The third will be dedicated to live entertainment with performance venues designed for concerts, theater, and cultural showcases. 
and the fourth will house flexible office space or hospitality facilities, with potential for a modern hotel. Linking them all, a grand pedestrian boulevard, modeled after the elevated charm of New York's High Line, will serve as an open, light-filled concourse connecting every zone. Elevated floors will allow for parking for over 1,400 vehicles beneath the main level, ensuring easy access. The new Astrodome is designed for year-round use, hosting everything from world-class concerts and conventions to community markets and cultural festivals. This is not just preservation, it's the rebirth of an icon as Houston's ultimate civic hub. The Astrodome's proposed rebuild follows a hybrid funding model, blending public and private investment. The initial $1 billion vision, officially unveiled by the Astrodome Conservancy and Gensler in November 2024, laid out an ambitious redevelopment. By 2025, the plan was streamlined, refining the scope and lowering the estimate to approximately $840 million. Of this, about $270 million is expected to come from public funds, earmarked for core civic infrastructure like the arena floor, structural upgrades, and public access, likely financed through county bonds and other government mechanisms. The remaining $570 million is targeted from private investors to develop commercial components such as retail outlets, restaurants, entertainment venues, and hospitality spaces, with funding anticipated from developers, corporate sponsors, and naming rights deals. The Astrodome State Antiquities Landmark status may unlock state and federal historic tax credits, potentially offsetting up to 45% of eligible costs. Proponents point to a projected $1.5 billion economic impact to justify investment, though Harris County's $270 million budget deficit makes the public funding politically sensitive. The Astrodome Conservancy has already raised $3 million for design and feasibility efforts, but major construction financing remains pending. Once approvals are secured, development will proceed in phases beginning with public use areas and expanding to commercial spaces, aiming for a full reopening in the early 2030s. The Astrodome's redevelopment faces intertwine challenges beyond design, with funding as the most urgent. Even at the reduced $840 million cost, the $270 million public share is contentious in a county struggling with an equal budget deficit raising debate over prioritizing entertainment over essential services. The $570 million private share is also uncertain, as no investors or anchor tenants have been confirmed, making financing fragile. Skeptics highlight the poor track record of similar projects in meeting promised economic returns. Public and political hurdles remain steep. Memories of the 2013 voter rejection of a $217 million renovation linger, while major NRG Park stakeholders, including the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, have voiced operational concerns. Political will could shift with leadership changes, risking delays or reduce scope. Technically, the dome's closure since 2009 has left it far from compliant with modern fire, accessibility, and structural codes. Balancing historic preservation with modern construction adds complexity and cost, while integration with NRG Park must avoid disrupting major events. Preservationists view the project as essential, but critics dismiss it as a costly vanity project. Rebuilding the Astrodome offers far-reaching benefits that extend well beyond preserving a landmark. Economically, the project is projected to generate up to $1.5 billion in impact, creating thousands of construction jobs and sustaining long-term employment in hospitality, retail, and events management. A revitalized dome would attract major conventions, concerts, exhibitions, and sporting events, boosting tourism, increasing tax revenue, and spurring growth in surrounding businesses such as hotels, restaurants, and new commercial developments. Culturally, the project safeguards one of Houston's most recognizable icons the world's first domed stadium, and restores its role as a source of civic pride. The reimagined space would host a diverse range of year-round climate-controlled events, 
from international gatherings to local festivals, youth sports programs, educational initiatives, and community activities, ensuring broad public access. This synergy enhances Houston's competitiveness as a major events destination. Symbolically, the Astrodome's revival reinforces Houston's identity as a forward-thinking, resilient city. Through adaptive reuse and sustainable design, it preserves history while creating a modern, versatile venue, ensuring the dome remains both a living landmark and a powerful economic and cultural engine for decades to come. The future of the Astrodome hinges on more than just architectural ambition. It depends on vision, funding, and public will, aligning at the right moment. If the plan moves forward, the city within a dome could become a year-round hub that redefines Houston's cultural and economic landscape. The dome's integration with NRG Park would transform the entire complex into a premier destination, capable of competing with the world's leading event venues. Technological upgrades and sustainable design could position it as a benchmark for adaptive reuse, proving that historic preservation can go hand in hand with modern functionality. For Houston, the project represents more than just saving an old stadium. It's about making a statement that the city values its past while building boldly for the future. What do you think? Will this be remembered as one of Houston's greatest redevelopment successes or as an ambitious gamble that failed to deliver? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.